guys this is Andy San here I was just kind of browsing around my uh, YouTube channel and I found something kind of interesting apparently the first of March marks my four that's right four year anniversary I can't believe I've been on YouTube that friggin long most of the big uh, YouTube names are probably celebrating like their second or third year anniversary I've been around forever and I made the very first video. Nah, just kidding, I haven't been around that long. But I have been on uh, for a while. A lot longer than uh, I thought it was gonna be. Uh, before I was uh, involved with YouTube, I was on MySpace, and I don't know, I didn't really like MySpace as much. Even during its heyday, I, I, I like the concept of it, that you could, uh, especially like the band concept, because you could put up MP3s of, you know, just little just stuff that you do around the house, you know, just quick little guitar ideas or whatever, and I, I really did like that idea. Beyond that, eh, I saw better platforms uh, like Zanga. Zanga was a much better uh, blogging platform than MySpace, and although it didn't have the audience that MySpace had, it, I just thought it was overall better. But uh, anyway. Vlog32 was actually uploaded the uh, day of my four-year anniversary on YouTube, and uh, I didn't really know it at the time. If I knew, I probably would have put something in there that said that, but um, yeah. I was just kind of strolling through some of my uh, very early videos. You can really notice, you know, just the quality difference, especially from those very early videos, you know, when YouTube was just fairly young in those days, and the video quality was a little scratchy. But I don't know, especially those really, really early videos. I, some of them, you know, I kind of cringe watching, especially the uh, the guitar solo med medley thing. It just, I don't know, I just kind of cringe when watching it. Yeah, there's also been uh, some, some really good videos that I've done over the past four years. Definitely uh, one of my favorite vlogs was uh, the two-part vlog, uh, Vlog 21, when I went back up to uh, Bowling Green looked around the place, uh, went to Miles Dairy Queen, went to Finders. I think I really enjoyed making that one the most, and I really put the most effort into it, as far as, you know, editing, actually going to those places, and things like that. Vlog 4 was kind of the, uh, the early version of that, and as you can see, it was the first vlog that I made that I actually had editing software instead of just filming everything in one take and hoping that, uh, it all it all comes out for the best, but I actually had a editing software. That's when I first got Sony Vegas, and I was just learning how to use it. So some of the uh, scenes were a bit choppy, well choppier than normal. But I kind of applied that to like my style, I guess. I kind of adopted that from the uh, the uh, sxy fill or sexy fill approach, just because it seems like uh, he edits the video so quickly that the last little like word that comes out of his mouth is cut off and I, I kinda emulated that that style although that's, he probably does that unintentionally just because he's trying to get videos out at a certain time and doesn't have enough time to dick around with proper editing or whatever the case may be if you guys were wondering why my videos were kinda choppy that's just kinda the style that I do so I'm sure you guys are wondering what the uh, next generation of 
Andy-san videos are going to be like. I'm hoping to really increase the quality of the videos. Um, hopefully get something in uh, HD very soon. So I'm sure you guys are probably tired of looking at me at a 480p or 320p or whatever. Anyone will look at me warts and all. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to get a uh, an HD camera soon. What I hope to do in the future, as I said before with my future Andy San videos, when I'm in the Navy, to kind of tell you about the Navy life without giving away like classified information or whatever. Show you the sites without revealing secretive stuff. Just to kind of give you a basic rundown, because, I don't know, I've been looking up a lot of uh, Navy-related videos online, and there's a couple of good ones. Um, J-Rock number five, I think his name is. He has uh, several good videos for uh, people, you know, who want to join the Navy and kind of need uh, a little bit of information. And the Navy actually has their own YouTube channel, so you can check that out too. But uh, for me, I prefer something a bit more candid, not really something so polished like what the U.S. Navy YouTube channel has. But it does give you kind of an idea of what you're getting yourself into, I, I guess. So I hope to kind of, you know, show you the sights around town, you know, like when I'm in A school and, uh, you know, when I get shipped off, hopefully to Japan. But there might be other ports of call that I have to go to or whatever. It just depends on what they need, when they need it. It's difficult for me to say right now. I will be trying my best to get to Japan first. Who knows, they might need me uh, somewhere else overseas or someplace, you know, within the U.S. I, I don't know. But in any event, I'll be uh, vlogging from that location, showing you the sights around the town, my barracks, and just basically giving you a rundown of Navy life. I'll also be uh, taking some uh, Q&A, too, once I'm out, out of uh, boot camp and A school. I'll also be taking some uh, Navy questions, too. Now, keep in mind, I won't be exactly like a seasoned vet or anything, so I won't be able to answer too many complicated questions. But most people are looking for, you know, what's boot camp like, what do you got to do, you know, stuff like that. I'll definitely be able to an answer those questions after boot camp and also be able to answer a little bit about what A school is like. Basically, I'll just answer as I learn. So that's bas those are basically uh, my resolutions for the uh, next upcoming uh, Andy San videos. But until then, I kind of enjoy vlogging, just to kind of give you guys an update as far as like my weight, my progress for training for boot camp, things like that. Mm. Uh, this video is kind of getting a little long, so uh, we'll cut it off here. This is the Andy San, signing off for now. Thank you guys for uh, sticking with me these past four years, and here's to many more. We'll see you next time. Bye.